Hey guys and welcome to a very special video. Today I've actually got access to the Halo Reach for the first time on PC. So we're going to jump into it, it's only one mission. But we're going to go through it together, see what's in the build at the moment, the settings, and what it's looking like. So let's jump into it. Press spacebar to start. Cool, so we're going to go first of all into settings. I stream this over Twitch TV forward slash minblitz. But I wanted to locally record it so I could have it at the highest quality possible. So you guys could see what the game actually looks like and not just that my stream quality. I might include some clips here and there of my stream stuff purely because there was some really funny stuff that happened. But let's look at the settings. As expected, this is the first flight. It's only a thousand people actually had access. So I can understand that not everything is probably, it's probably subject to change. A lot of these uh, things will probably be added to. There'll be a lot more settings added in and it'll probably be much more in depth than what we see here. So we see we've got the field of view. That's probably the one thing that a lot of you guys might care about. 90 is the max for now. I think it's capped at 60 frames per second as well. I think the field of view might actually go a bit higher if they can make the player models not look too broken. I'm unsure whether they'll uncap the frame rate or not, but time will tell with that. And maybe when the game eventually comes out, it'll have an uncapped frame rate. But for now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people told me it's 60 FPS. So we scroll down a bit. We have all these other settings, obviously inversion, crouching. Um, I obviously have hold to crouch because I'm not a noob. Um, we have all this crosshair position. I remember someone when my Halo on PC series was talking about centered or classic because obviously um, one of them is a little bit lower than the other one. So it's good that they included that. That's a very big feature they've added, which is fantastic. Mouse sensitivity compared to Halo Online. <laughs> Uh, the low sensitivity is actually really fun. High sensitivity, I put it up to like 5, I was just windmilling everywhere. It was just nuts how high they've actually put the sensitivity up to. Um, I might show you guys a difference, like a comparison in a minute. But for the first little playthrough we're going to do, we're going to do number 1 only. Secondly, mouse acceleration. Now Halo Online has mouse deceleration, which is a really bad thing. But it's so nice to see they actually have this little section in here because it means I can put it to what it was at for Halo Online and transitioning for me now is going to be very, very easy. So good job 343, you really nailed this part of it. Now going across to key bindings and I've basically done it exactly the same as Halo Online because that's what's familiar for me. Whatever's familiar for you, go for it. We have everything that's here. I would like to see a couple more things added, maybe secondary bindings like Halo Online has. That would be a really nice feature to do. But aside from that, it's all pretty stock standard stuff to begin with. We'll probably see them add more in-depth stuff as the game becomes more finished as the second or third flights roll around or the initial release of the game officially but enough chit chat let's jump into the gameplay and i'm not going to talk over this cutscene because it is absolutely incredible so let's do it I love this cutscene, guys. Team's discovery last so night sick. was not an anomaly. Large covenant deployments have occurred undetected, and we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defenses. As per the winter contingency, we oh, are it gives me chills different. still watching this. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated covenant army hiding canopies and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional covenant forces. The origin of Make sure you check out the guys in the mongoose, by the way. That's all I'm gonna say. They got a damn assault rifle going into banshees and tanks. That is ballsy. Right, I'm not gonna say anything else. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC command as a priority one target. Net charge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Acquiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three. Incoming! Might want to hold on to something. All righty, guys, let's do it. <laughs> Notice Six. the Wilhelm screen. Can you hear me? Six, you the Wilhelm right? screen is the most popular I'm screen that's usually in movies. There's a couple in Star Wars, there's a couple in Borderlands 2 actually. 
And uh, yeah, well, let's space to skip this. So let's just uh, quickly go around here. One thing I noticed, what I really wanted them to add, was that there's no way to change the quality because I'm not going to play on max sense, like max quality settings when I get the game. I'm probably going to drop it down so the game runs at like ultra smooth settings. That's probably what my go to thing is going to be. The game actually plays really smoothly, which is really nice to see. I love that Halo is going to have a bigger and more... I mean, I just want Halo to be popular. That's really the bottom line. I think most Halo fans would agree. Especially the, the ones that have been around. Oh my god, I don't really care to die here. Then we just want a really big, healthy community and we all love Halo. But he was still alive. He's standing up dead. <laughs> He's just squatting on the plasma pistol. That's funny. Oh, you're still alive. Uh, low key, uh, I would rather cat me. No, I want cat in the gun. In. I want cat in. The gunner seat. Get in the gunner seat. In the gun. In the gunner seat. Not the fucking passenger seat. <laughs> I also noticed uh, from my live stream that the vehicle turning <coughs> is a little off. Okay, so we're just going to get the Marine to kill most of the things here because I don't want to get obliterated. The AI actually can lock on with their rockets compared to uh, basically the character. When the character fires the rocket hog turret, they're not locked on. But when the Marines or the cat fires the rocket hog, it's all locked on. Even if it's infantry. Even if it's infantry, it's still locked on. I'm gonna hop out here so I don't get killed. Yeah, alright, kill him. Go and get him. Yeah, fuck him up! Fuck him up! Come on, Marine! Shoot! Thank you, alright, well done. Alright, we'll park him here. There's gonna be a gold elite here. See, it didn't lock on. But I got a backup plan in case that didn't work. What is Cat doing? Alright. I looked away for two seconds, you lose the Warthog! I was gonna get in- Oh, okay. Sure. Get that extra ammo. Alright, let's kill these guys. I mean, I never- I was never a fan of Bloom. But I'll do it for you guys for the gameplay. <clears throat> you guys wanna let me know, are you excited? This game's coming out on PC, so I'm so damn stoked. There's no shield, I think. Go away. Alright, that's the first one destroyed. Get out of here. No, nothing to take Cat with me now because I was gonna take the. Control to Lima 4. Permission to commence but... bombing run. Heading 224.6. Come on. What can you do? See ya. 
even with my new PC running on map settings, it's a little bit jumpy. <clears throat> so, oh my god, please hurry, I don't want to die. They'll kill me so quickly. Um, it's still a little bit jumpy. I mean, it's 99% smooth, which is fantastic. But, yeah, I could optimize it if I wanted to. If I could uh, change quality, like, you'd have obviously min, medium, max, and then ultra would be ideal. But, yeah. Now we're hoping to see the Marine Brian Gerard, aka Sketch from 343, because he actually worked on Halo 2 to Rich. And most of the 343 employees, or I should say Bungie employees from back then, actually have names as Marines. So we're gonna try to kill him real quick. See what their names are. Should pop up in a second, surely. We'll have to kill all these guys before it pops up. Ah, right, there we go, it popped up. Uh, L. Smith, R. Brown, Cat, I don't remember, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, and Carol. So, no B. Gerard, unfortunately. But, let's keep going. Now, I was playing this bit, I actually got the Warthog over the barricades, and <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the clip. And I'll cut back to the gameplay, but Cat really screwed me over. They're the strats to have you frag on the pro. Oh my god, don't blow us up. Move, bitch, get out the way. You dumbass! Would not be a playthrough if we didn't. At least. Kill the Zealot Elite. We gotta, we gotta kill the Zealot Elite. That grenade launcher EMP is so handy. Now, there's a couple ways you can kill it. Now, it's probably gonna take me a few tries because movement is not god tier on this. But before the Zealot comes out, I gotta kill the Jackals. And we're gonna sprint. Jump, crouch, make the jump. Cool, that's some good movement. They go for the kill like this. Well, unless he splatters me. Yes, we got him, let's go! <laughs> we hit those. Let's go, guys. I actually had the game crash in the upcoming section where I didn't kill him. And he jumped down to where that grunt was down there, and yeah, I, uh, I didn't actually get to finish the mission. I had to restart all over again, because there's no... It says there's save and quit, there actually isn't any save and quit. There's just, you play it, and if it crashes, then you gotta start again. Alright, let's kill this kid. Whoa! Whoa! Fatal error! Whoa, it crashed! <laughs> the game just crashed. Alright, well, that's a first. We're going to the vehicle section here. And this... This Revenant and this Plasma Cannon thing come in so handy. So handy. I'm just going to skip all these guys. Oh, we'll splat it in two. What I can't wait for is the Revenant has really big aim assist in Halo Reach. It's really, it's no contest how overpowered it is. So I can't wait to get a sniper in the passenger seat and just start sniping everybody. And they call me after being a hacker. It's gonna be so fun. I think I've had the best RNG ever. I've only seen like one Ultra Elite. And usually, Legendary, they are fucking everywhere. The Reach is like one of the harder campaigns. Not gonna lie. At least I felt that way. I don't know what about you guys. I, def I definitely thought Reach was one of the harder ones. Halo 2, obviously, being the hardest campaign. I did that lasso. 
boss. Yeah. Alright, one down. One to go. And if you're wondering, instead of boost being like, you think sprint or something, uh, boost is your zoom in button. So it's right. By default, obviously, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Boost is your right mouse click by default. <coughs> Alright, so the bug is going to come out of here, from what I remember, whenever they come. See, when you play it a couple of times, you kind of get used to it. This is why I wanted the plasma cannon. I should have done some hella good damage. Hey good, he's raging, that's what you want. One down, one to go. Not. Go away, go away, and go away. See, <laughs> you literally just blast them into a million pieces. I should use this on. Alright, there he is. Alright, so we're just gonna just spam him, I guess. There's no real point. You have to kill him either way. If you just destroy the turret thing first, then he'll walk out basically unscathed, and it won't do any. Like, you have to kill him anyway. So, just try and kill this guy. Yeah, absolute tank so You can hear me just spamming away with the mouse. And he's just taking all the damage like it's enough. Which to be expected, like, depending on how difficult he's not going to be. Well, I actually destroyed the thing like that. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. I didn't realize that, like, when I was playing through on stream, and I actually <laughs> killed myself. Alright, we're done. God, yeah, they're so annoying. Dead? It didn't even say it was blowing up. I have to go back and do it all over again. Alright, let's just splatter you. Splatter, splatter, splatter. Hey. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god, the car is gonna kill me. Crazy. Alright, we can get a 10 for 1 on the splatter on the Marine! We can get a 10 for 1 splatter. 10 for 1, they're on a line! Yeah! No, are they gonna kill me? Where did he get the? There you go. Shoot him. Yeah, get him, Marines. Yeah, go, Marines. Yeah, six on one. Yeah, fuck him up, guys. Fuck him up. Yeah. Well done, six. Only needs up close recon on those spires. We're gonna fly you the rest. Fuck you up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, I'm going to set up a forward observation post here. Copy that. Yeah, I'm waiting you on new intel. See what you can see. Yeah, cat, fuck him up. Thank fuck him up. No, not me. What? Cat's just a cat's gone rampant, guys. Quick, get in before they can kill me. Go, go, go. Get wrecked! See you later, suckers! <laughs> it wouldn't be a Halo game if you guys didn't betray the Marines. <laughs> I remember before you could um, trade weapons with Marines in Halo CE, I'd run out of sniper ammo when I was like, like a little kid because I sucked. So I'd just betray the Marines and then they all try to kill me. Good times. On the bridge. There we go. They're all dead. Should we ones there too? Yeah, there they are. It's hard to shoot those ones though. Two more guys, they're just grunts. 
see ya. The Marines are all dead. Now, if you guys ever wanted to see a strat to bypass all the enemies in the next section, watch and pay close attention. It's actually not that hard. George is invincible, he'll tank all the enemies here. anyway. What you do is just grab a jetpack, and we go this way. <clears throat> now, the quicker you do it, the better it is because you're not going to run into a heap of enemies. We just go this way. Wait a second, let my shields go back. And here we go. Okay, not gonna go. Up, can't go up, up, can't go up, 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 up. There we go. <laughs> what is that, dude? Oh my god. We one guy here. Let's take him out. Back in there. And we get back up. And we're all good. That's all it is, really. I saw a lot of people when they were playtesting and they, uh, I know they wanted to kill everything, but they got killed by uh, a lot of silly stuff. Anyway, and then you just jetpack. If jetpack is broken, this is why jetpack shouldn't be in video games. For this exact reason, because like, if you're a smart player, you just bypass everything. There's like at least 100 or 200 enemies down there, I just skip everything by using the jetpack. Just silly. <clears throat> Alright, we'll grab a uh, plasma rifle from here, because we're going to need to kill the big baddie. Take out these ultras real quick. I'd actually prefer a plasma rifle. Alright, here it comes. He's got a sword though, so... Easy. There's one more grunt! Oh my god, he wasn't even looking at me. I realized I couldn't activate it, so I was like, ooh, there's one left. Alright, I'll let you guys watch this cutscene and then we'll talk about the game a little bit more. Get us out of here. Control, this is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound, and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC rounds? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. I always thought this was overkill, by the way. New contact, high tonnage. No. No, somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? The Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. Imagine how many people on that on board that, and they're all just dead. The big ship. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Let me just go back to the, uh, can I even go back to the starting screen? No, I can't. <clears throat> we'll just leave it like that. So, my thoughts are, I'm very excited that the game is coming to PC. It looks beautiful. The gameplay isn't too bad, and I'm sure they'll add more settings as it becomes more developed. But I'm so glad that 343 are doing such a good job, and they're taking feedback from us as the game becomes more developed. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this gameplay today. I loved playing it. It's something different, and I'm really excited for the future. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.